Today's Reach Tip of the Day has to do with handheld x-rays and some tips and tricks on getting good images with them. So a lot of folks have handheld x-rays in their office. They essentially perform the same function as wall-mounted x-ray, but they're highly portable and easy to use, which is great for uh, kids or endo or somebody that has a heavy gag reflex. Um, so a lot of times people don't get the image quality that they want and they think that there's an issue with the x-ray. Uh, there are some differences between handheld x-rays and wall-mounted x-rays. The, the biggest thing is the output. On a wall-mounted x-ray, the output is much higher. On a handheld x-ray unit, it's going to be a bit lower. The easiest example to illustrate this is your cell phone camera. If you go out in the middle of the day, bright sunny day, take some pictures, everything comes out sharp and crisp, and you try and take that same scene at night, and things are a little grainy, and sometimes maybe even a little blurry or out of focus. And so our handheld x-rays uh, can be equated to a similar type thing. Their light source is less bright than a hand or than a, than a wall mounted unit. And so the the time usually is a little higher. A lot of times people try to set all their x-rays in the office to the exact same setting. And with a handheld x-ray, that, that time will be higher. The patient isn't receiving any more radiation because that sensor takes a certain amount of radiation to it to create a good image. The handheld x-ray with a lower output, it takes a little longer to get that same amount of radiation to the sensor. And so if we set the time a little higher, then we'll get better images. Um, the, the other thing that, that people often complain about is graininess in their images. And that is often caused by either the time is set too low or the distance. Uh, people think that, uh, tend to think of an x-ray as like a laser beam. And it's more like a floodlight where it spreads out and dissipates very quickly with distance. So if you take a shot, when your, the tip of your cone is here, uh, as opposed to here, um, you will you will get more radiation to the sensor where it's needed to make that image clear. Uh, if you're getting light X-rays with a handheld X-ray, try moving try moving the cone closer to the patient's face and closer to the sensor, and and see without changing the time, you should get a better image quality. Thanks for watching. That's your reach tip of the day.